What's going on guys? Today I'm going to a Reds memorabilia show. It's all Cincinnati Reds memorabilia. I think there's some vendors set up with some other stuff too, but uh, it's primarily Red stuff. It's actually run by my friend Chris, who runs the Facebook group for Reds collectors like myself. And I think there might be some cards there too. So we're going to go check it out see what we can find. So the show was held at the Marriott in Westchester. Really nice hotel. Uh, they had it at the same place last year. And you go inside and here's the lobby of the hotel. And you can see that back room is where they have the event. A uh, huge, huge room. I'd say like maybe 10,000 square feet. Uh, lots of tables. <laughs> I'd say... Uh, honestly, close to 100 tables or so. I mean, this was a really big show. Here is some various res memorabilia. I mean, you name it, it was here. Any kind of res memorabilia you're looking for, you're going to find it here. Bobbleheads, baseballs, Funko Pops, pins, stadium replicas. They had it all under one roof. Really cool. I love this burger sign. This is a really, really old burger beer advertisement. Really cool piece. A lot of bats. Uh, a lot of these are game-used bats from various players. Just a ton of variety. Really good selection. I could honestly spend a whole day here <laughs> just looking at everything. It was almost like a museum of red stuff is how much stuff was here. It was really cool. Here's some more bats, some helmets. There was a sprinkling of cards throughout. Here's uh, a bargain box right here. And then here's some vintage. Got some uh, slabs and different things. A little bit of uh, wax, not a ton. Uh, a few more football boxes. Uh, $3 a card on these. This guy had a ton of vintage. Lots and lots of vintage, uh, which is what I like. So I was kind of looking that stuff over pretty closely. This was amazing. This guy was set up at the Mueller Show, too. He, uh, he does drawings of athletes and just does incredible incredible work really cool to watch him do it in person all right guys i'm back at my shop i didn't get a ton at that uh, memorabilia show but i got a handful of things i got this uh, reproduction top sign for 10 bucks just i really like these they're pretty cool i got a handful of them already so i went ahead and grabbed that one I got a whole stack of football cards he had them priced at um three dollars each i asked if he'd do 10 for 20 he said yeah and i got 30 so i paid 60 bucks for these a lot of cool illusions just some neat stuff in here i think there's some mosaic i'm a big fan of the illusions i like the uh, acetate cards these i'm just gonna flip uh on my whatnot single shows I'm just gonna run them a lot of times we get requests for Cowboys and Packers and Vikings and I saw a bunch of those in there. There's a number Tebow. I thought that was funny. Um, so yeah, thought it'd be good to have some cards that get requested a lot. This one is a personal. I brought a uh, Joey Votto card. Um, it's like a Don Ross autograph card, and I got a lot of Joey Votto stuff. So I was looking to trade it, and I saw this card, uh, 52 Klazuski PSA five. Uh, price was pretty fair. Seems to be about what they're going for. So I traded the Vado plus a hundred bucks for this one because um, I got a lot of Vado. I don't have any Klazuski graded, and um, I've been collecting a lot of vintage graded lately. My collection's growing. Um, I think it's you know personally it's a really good uh, long term hole. I'm not really going to do anything with it. Let's see. We've got Topps Chrome. This is the one box that I bought there. He uh, sold it to me for 50 bucks. Uh, that's what you can get it for right now at Target.com, but <clears throat> at least I saved on the tax. So let me go ahead and rip this. I haven't ripped a ton lately, not for personal anyways. So I thought it'd be fun to go ahead and rip a box, see what we can pull. I like this uh, Chrome update. It's got the Jonathan India rookie card in it. <clears throat> Every once in a while you can get a refractor or a purple or something like that, but pretty fun product. Jimenez, Purple, Ramos, Arenado, Refractor, Melanson. Moreland, Lester, Purple, Renfro. Oh, there's an India. Nice. Can never have too many India. Rookie of the year last year. He's been hurt uh, pretty much all season so far, but he'll be back soon, hopefully. Colton Wong. Lindor, purple, uh, Manoa, rookie. Garcia, Alec Manoa is very, very good. Isbell, ooh, that's a nice one. Purple, Bohm, rookie cup. It's a nice card. I'll get that top loaded up. 
He's having a pretty good season. Steve Carlton, die cut, and Adelis Garcia. Feliciano, Purple Debbie Garcia, rookie. Shohei Tops Black Gold. That's really cool. Love that one. I really like these uh, black gold that they're doing. Reminds me of the, the old ones they did when I was a kid. Uh, and Joe Adele, rookie. Nice. Good box so far. Kirilov, rookie. Luis Garcia, rookie. Same Huff Purple Rookie and a Six Toe Rookie. That's a nice pack. Hendrix Magical Purple Rookie. Uh, Boba Shet Refractor. All Star Game. That's neat. And uh, Cronenworth Rookie. Jackie Bradley Jr., Larnick, Andres Jimenez Purple, and Taylor Trammell, rookie. Nate Pearson, Purple Mitch Moreland. Oh, how about an autograph? Look at that. Autograph out of a mega box. Can't be mad about that. Seth Elledge, rookie card for the Cardinals. And it is a refractor. Let's get that top loaded up. Didn't have my uh, sleeves and top loaders ready, but I'll grab one real quick. Always be prepared, right? Rookie auto refractor out of a mega box. I'll take that all day long. Pretty neat. And Dane Dunning, last pack. Tariq Skubal, we got a purple. John Lester, another die cut. Tatis, that's a cool card. I like these die cuts for the uh, 78 year anniversary. And Kohei Arihara, pretty good box. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, definitely, keep, uh, if I were you next year when they do that memorabilia show, if you've got the chance, check it out. Uh, just really, really, really cool stuff if you're a uh, memorabilia collector like myself. I was wanting to get some of the memorabilia there. Just, I don't know, nothing was screaming at me that I just had to have, you know what I mean? Uh, other years I've bought some cool stuff there, but um, no big memorabilia this year. That is it for this video, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.